morning, Bushwhackers! Today we're gonna find out, will it muffin? But before that, remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and don't forget to press that notification bell down below. Our first muffin that we are trying is wild carrot muffins. So I'll also put a little bit of apple pie spice in this to make it taste kind of like carrot cake, but this is more of the medicinal carrot because carrots were used to use for, well, medicine. So these have a very strong carrot flavor. So let's try it. Cheers. Let's smell. Yeah, carrot cake. It's a little bit but like mm, it's very, very strong. But it's still Ready? carrot cake. Three, two, one. Carrots are a little chewy. The carrots are a little woody. Flavor's good. Oh yeah, it's just that I got a couple of too woody. Smells good, tastes good, but the texture, the the fiber from the carrots are uh, very chewy. It's very woody. Um, Not a bad flavor. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's good. I, I enjoy it, it too. It's like a stronger. Yeah, imagine like a stronger uh, carrot flavor with like almost a point of uh, towards like licorice. Will wild carrots muffin? Yes. Yes. Our next muffin that we are trying is autumn olive. These are real olives, but these are more of a berry type of olive. Not the big olives that you get oil from. These would be best in smoothies. If you want to see that video of Will It Smoothie, we'll be right over Brandon's head. But let's try these. Let's smell. Oh yeah. That smells actually very good. I put a lot of autumn oil on those. You want to cheers? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Let's go for a bite. That was better. Mm. Mmm. That's good. Texture's better too. Yeah. But you still get like the seed in the center. You can eat the seeds too of these ones. When it comes to the larger olives that you get the press of for oil, those ones have like very stone seeds. These ones you can eat the seeds and crunch down and there's still oils in this but not as much. But, this has like a very berry kind of flavor. It's good. It's like, imagine like, when you like, see wild berry flavor. This is the wild berry flavor. It's probably autumn olive. That's delicious. Yeah, I would recommend those muffins, that recipe. That's a very good recipe. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. With the wild carrot, we forgot to rate that. With the wild carrot, what was your rating for that one? That's probably a seven. That's a seven? Because of the downside, like, uh, you have to chew it a little bit. Yeah, I would give it uh, the wild carrot one a seven also, but what would you rate this one as? Oh, that's a nine, then. That's a nine. I would give this a nine also. This, and definitely, even if this is invasive, and you gotta get as much of it away, why not eat the invasives? That's what's it. Cookies and muffins. That's what I would recommend with these. Yeah, the Cup cupcake I think smoothies too. You could probably get away with a cupcake. You make the frosting for this. And oh yeah, a, a nice good um, white cake underneath. Very very good it would be. Yeah, it tastes tastes fantastic. So eat those autumn olives because tons of them. Will autumn olive muffin? Yes. Yes. Our next flavor that we are trying is Kusa Dogwood. The dogwood fruit from a Kusa Dogwood tree. Here's it. It's dense but airy. Mm -hmm. What would you give this as a rating? Eight and a half. That one's better. Eight and a half? I would give this an eight. Will Kusa Dogwood Muffin! Yes! Yes! Our next flavor that we are trying 
is wild black cherries. These are not like the black cherry that you would get in the store where they're large. These are the small, tiny, wild ones, the same size as of what choke cherries are, but you don't get any dryness. And when you eat them fresh, you get a slight grassy finish. So let's try these. But it smells like Play Doh. Do you agree? Yeah. Play Doh! Boop. More Play Doh. Okay, let's try uh, Black Cherry or <clears throat> Wild Black Cherry that smells. Yeah, it's it like the flavored Play Doh. What do you mean flavored Play Doh? Because it's edible. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. I taste the cherry, but very mild. The smell of it, yes, it smells like Play-Doh, but the flavor, no, it tastes cherry. Little, there's a little Play-Doh flavor. It really? Like, what would you rate this as? Still a little Play-Doh, I, I would give this a seven. Seven? Carrot's better than this. I would agree with the seven. Will Wild Black Cherries Muffin! Yes! Yes. Our next muffin that we are trying is Hawthorn. So the Hawthorn fruit in this. But I just made a sauce out of it because the seeds are like a stone fruit seed. They are extremely hard. So I took those out. So let's try. Hawthorne. Cheers it. A little bit more dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not very strong flavor. What would you rate this as? Um, 7.8. Like, nice good in between the other two. I'm gonna give it a seven. Will Hawthorne fruit muffin? Yes. Yes. Our next and last muffin that we are trying, we are trying rose hips. So let's try some rose hip muffins. And this is nothing like the rose flower. We could have done that too. Well, yeah, we could have done a rose flower. Um, but this is more of like the fruit is way different of a flavor than the flower, so. Cheers it. Let's go for a nice big bite. While we make a mess. Moist. That's good. Mm -hmm. What would you rate this as? An eight. I'm gonna rate this as a seven. Not sure what that flavor is. What the rose hip? Yeah, tastes like something. But I'm not really sure what type of food that would like correspond with. Maybe a little bit of tomato. Well, yeah, it's slightly similar kind of flavor wise as tomatoes of the rose hip fruit. Actually, it smell it smells kind of like tomato a little bit. A little kind of thing. Very hint. Of that, yeah, it's a bit um, tomato. I love tomatoes. Yeah, it's like there's this when, like when you finish swallowing it, it's like that back of your tongue flavor idea, where you get that slight hint. Will wild rose hips muffin? Yes, yes. Well, that was amazing flavors of muffins. So, Bram, what was your favorite muffin? The autumn olive. I agree. The autumn olive was delicious. Describe me of what the flavor that you tasted in that muffin. It's like a super berry type of flavor. It's not just like one type of berry. It's not just like, oh, you have like a cranberry or a blueberry or a strawberry. It's like a combine of all different berries shoved into one. Yeah, imagine, like in the words to say, when they say wild berry for all the different products and stuff, yeah. 100%. It tastes like wild berry. Yeah, it tastes, you just add that one item. And then so instead of berry. like throwing all these different flavors together of different fruits, just go with autumn olive if you want that wild berry flavor. 
If you want to see more, go down in the description below, click the link to my channel or Brandon's channel, or press the round subscribe buttons to both of our channels to help both of us get to a thousand subscribers. And until next time, remember to get outside, get fresh air, and have fun. See ya.